With the next general election drawing closer, we take a look at the new youthful entrance in the political game. Jalango, Raftone, Monaisha Chidzuga, DNG, Jesse the MC, Gabu Bugubugu, Tony Kwalanda, Frasha, an array of new young faces with political ambitions and with slightly over six months to the August 2022 general election, they have decided to throw their hats in the ring. Celebrated radio presenter and comedian Felix Odiwar, a.k.a. Jalango, recently announced that he will be battling for the Langata parliamentary seat. Langata won. <laughs> Langata is home. Langata is actually one of the first places I ever stepped into when I stepped, I came to Nairobi. I lived in Siwaka, that is Nairobi West, uh, with my uncle. God bless you, Uncle Amos, and uh, your amazing wife, who's my auntie, my sister's mom, Auntie Pam. Please tell them that uh, Siwaka was home for a very long time. Thank you so much. And uh, definitely one of the places everybody knows that I lived in was in Southland with my first boss, David Aliwa, who was my director at the National Theatre then, where we stayed with the sister, Godana, and the brother, Carl. And right now, all my friends are in Langata, and Langata is home. Although the Nairobi senatorial seat is a crowded field attracting both old and new aspirants, gospel musician Roy Smith Mwatia says he will give it a shot. I'm an activist. I'm a, uh, I like defending the weak, and uh, that is my uh, specialty in as far as leadership is concerned. So I had to look for uh, an office that suits my, 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 my characteristics, and uh, one of them being defending the innocent. So the office of Senate gives me such a beautiful platform to exercise my strength in leadership. And um, I would want to overemphasize, because there are many people have seen it, they have been trolling me online, saying, well, after not after do, mziki mekata, nini, nini. Come and look on after do, I would have gone for an MP seat, I would have gone for a governor seat, or even, um, let, I, I want to overemphasize this, the fact that even an MCA has better uh, budgets than a, a senator. But I've gone there strictly because I have a passion for the people, I need to serve the young people. Renowned news anchor Monaisha Chizuga is also joining the murky political world, taking after the footsteps of her mother. She will be vying for the Matuga parliamentary seat. Her former colleague Tony Kwalanda also making his debut in the political arena. It's a passion that I've always wanted from university, especially um, when I was still a young person, because I always want to help out. In university, um, I was also a student leader, and that's where that really passion was cemented. So I thought, why can't I also just do the same uh, when I mature enough, when I have that, when I have the resources now to do in a very bigger area. Most of these aspirants feel the older generation has failed in addressing the needs of the youth. Jesse being born in Egoji, ward of South Imendi constituency, being brought up in Meru, then Nikakuja, Nairobi, to try and make it, to create a difference in my personal life, is what we are talking about, young people being helped now. I don't want the next young person from my constituency, from South Imenti. My parents died when I was very young, at the age of 12. I figured out life on my own. Majority of them grew up in the areas they want to see change in. Because I grew up in Kenyatta. I used to be an altar boy, by the way, before COVID. <laughs> <Where? laughs> I used to be at Kenyatta Hospital, you know, I used to be altar boy. After that, we go visit the sick in the hospital. We go around, you know, just talking to people, giving people hope and all that. So I feel like Kenyatta is my... That's my home. Atamaki is part of the Woodley Ward. Woodley goes from Upper Hill to Junction, meaning also Toy Market is there, and it's also another market. So I feel like uh, I've been talking to people. They're telling me uh, there are problems of insecurity. Uh, people want to work. They don't want to ask for money. The political ambitions of these personalities coming hot on the heels of the IABC noting that the youth have not been registering to vote. And that is why we are telling young people, go out there, register as a vote. So that you don't complain when 
things do not go your way. The voter apathy, the one you've just highlighted, is a result of them feeling not being in included in policy making and no one really cares about them. Voting is your right. Besides just being a right, you know your life will be affected by politics. Just try and change. Play a part in it. Don't be a spectator. To Lazima to change. Your change out of Sama Koko kwa Twitter. A lot of people are just tweeting, 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 tweeting. And uh, I do call in, uh, giving you negative comments as a young person who wants to vie. I think we need to be positive. We need to go and register. Now we decide who to put. That's it. That is the only thing we need to do. Otherwise, to Tashinda Pale Pale. But will their popularity in their respective fields translate to votes on the ground? I think when somebody wants to buy for a political position, you need to look at your options. Yes, you're famous, you're seen on TV, but what have you been, what are you famous for? What have you been pushing on that particular screen where you've been? Yes, you're a media personality, but what is exactly do you stand for? We, or MC Jesse, who is vying for member of parliament South Dementi constituency, has been a leader in the creative economy industry. We have been seen on TV, not only just making people laugh, but leading an industry, developing talents, giving young people an opportunity to exploit their talents further. And we have mostly worked with people from Mashinani, Uko Chini Kabisa. Initially, when I was starting my campaign last year, in uh, about June there, July, um, yes, they were very receptive, but they told me, Tony, we know you, but don't assume that every person knows you. You have to visit them. And the good thing about wards, families are, are places that you can just walk. Take a boda boda, walk, and the salimio nyumba. So Jalango has a name. I'm happy that he's given me a platform. I don't have to introduce myself every day to people. I walk into even new places and everybody's jalas, jalas, jalas. But will that turn into votes? Yes, it will, because of the campaign that we want to put on. We want to give it our best shot. I want to come in as a candidate who nobody knows. You understand? I want to come in as Felix Odiwar. The youthful aspirants want the Election Act amended to allow the IABC to include a candidate's popular name on the ballot. If that goes on, it will be Jalango Felix Odiwar, so that they don't go there looking for the Jalango and they don't find it. Uh, people know us by our stage names, uh, but I think maybe they do Gabriel Kagundu, then Gabu. But will they hang their boots in their respective fields? I will draft on a retire from gospel music. In fact, now I'll do it bigger and better, having understood the challenges that a normal Nairobian is facing on a daily basis. I think I might be the first member of parliament, if the, the people of Langata gives me the chance, who is also a radio presenter. All right. Radio for me has been my life and all. And radio begins at six in the morning. So... And it's been the one thing that wakes me up every day. So I would be able to wake up at uh, 4, Kama Kawaida, do my radio job by 10, like right now, rush to Bunge, and represent my people. This is what they hope to bring on the table. Uh, we have youth with talents. We have youth who are, you know, uh, IT, you know, my pro. We need to give them those chances to work in the government. We can't keep on doing that. So my pledge to the people is whatever work I'm supposed to do for you, I will make sure I push it and I'm going to be the man of the people. Sponsor a bill called the Creative Economy Bill, which is going to create the Creative Economy Council of Kenya in this country. And this is, why, why am I thinking of such things? Because I've been an artist for the past 15 years. Tangu ni Malize High School. Nilikuja tu Nairobi kuanza kuhasol. And what was I using? My creative economy, uh, my creative skills. Comedy. But you have never had an identity. I'm going to be the first senator who's going to make sure that my office will be having offices all, all over Nairobi. So that um, when you're having an issue as a young person, you don't have to come. I've, when I was going around, I was asking them, where is the office of the senator? They don't even know. In our ward, you find not many uh, homesteads are connected to electricity. And my first, of course, my first initiative will be ensure that every homestead in Manda Shivanga gets electricity. That's, that's, that should just be the, one of the basic needs that any community needs to have in this current day and age. With employment, to the young people out there, a lot of issues will be solved in Langata. 
crime will go down. Still an issue. See, providing for basic needs for the different families and all. So one of the biggest things I really want to do is to have a resource center. A resource center, how we shall could be the the constituency fund would be able to create for us a resource center in all the five wards of Langata. So that a young person would walk in at the resource center with their talent and skill, learn something, harness it, okay, go to get free Wi-Fi, get into YouTube and all these channels, build an app, build something, learn something. You understand? Is this a transitional election that will be determined by young people? Time will tell.